Hey guys, and welcome to the Kerbal Space Program Part 4, where today we're going to show you guys how to make an orbital refueling station, which will make your trips to Joule and beyond a lot easier if you're having problems with fuel. Now, in the .craft files in the description below, I'm going to be linking the core module here and the fuel tanks. And if you guys request it, I'll link the comm station as well, but this is really just an add-on port for, for anything else you want to add to this. This can turn into whatever you want. The main part of this is just the fueling station hub, which is this core module here, and these fuel tanks, and there'll be four of them in all, eventually. But you can really do whatever you want with this part, so that's up for you to decide. Here we are in the big hangar with one of the orange fuel tanks for the orbital station. As you can see, it's unmanned, and it also is an orange tank, so it's gonna take a lot of tech in order to build this orbital station. Specifically, you're going to need very heavy rocketry for the orange tanks and the mainsail. You're also going to need up to metamaterials for the core, which you will see in a minute. And then you're also going to need large probes for this probe core here in order to send it up without a kerbal attached. So those are the three main techs you're going to have to reach, and obviously all the prerequisites for each of those techs. And then, as for the rest of the video, I'm going to take you guys with me up to the orbital station with this fuel tank and show you guys how to dock in orbit, which is probably one of the more tedious things you're going to do in Kerbal Space Program. What we're going to need to do first is make sure that you and the core are lined up perfectly, because before this flight that I'm about to show you, what you're going to do is send the core up. And the core, you're just going to park at about 120 so what you're going to do is wait, once you've got the core up and you're about to launch off with your first fuel tank, you're going to wait until morning so you don't have to do this in the dark. And you're also going to wait until the core and your fuel tank are aligned in a certain way. And as it comes back around here, you notice that the headquarters for the Kerbals, whatever it's called, down on Kerbin, is on the Africa-shaped continent here, whereas there's another continent jutting off with an ocean in between. As soon as it passes the very toe of that continent is when you're going to take off. And it does not have to be exact at all. I've taken off when he's here and when he's here, and it still works. So just kind of guesstimate it, get it to where he's right about here. Now one thing you want to keep in mind when flying the heavier tanker is that the ascent profile is going to change. Instead of your typical 10,000 meter lean towards the 90 degree heading, you're going to start leaning at each atmospheric change. So once you're properly aligned, go ahead and launch. Once you bring your apoapsis out to the orbital path of the core module, then you can begin attempting to dock with it. Now what you'll do is you'll basically mimic its orbital path until you get two arrows for the intersects. But they're going to have to be within two kilometers of each other, otherwise it's going to be really frustrating. and a half. So you just continue to mess with these sliders until you get it within two. Here are my point seven, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten out and then begin to burn. 
Now you're going to want to pay really close attention to this. And at the last few hundred or few uh, meters a second you're burning off, you're going to want to disable your maneuver node and watch manually. <clears throat> when watch manually as they approach each other. You can be a lot more accurate this way. Seven. Perfect. All right. Now it's just time to wait. You're going to want to stop fast forwarding just before you hit the node so you can go back to your staging and point your craft into the retrograde which is right here. Once you've done that, just continue to wait until you meet the intersect. And then you're going to want to thrust into the retrograde to get your target down to around 0.03 or less meters a second. That way you are both at the same exact speed. I'm going to go ahead and thrust. Now it's going to want to move. In this case I'm trying my RCS and just continue to follow that retrograde until you get down to zero. And just tap for the last point two or so. Perfect. And quick save often. Now you're going to point towards the core module, which is that little pink spot, and you're going to accelerate towards it till you're about at 10 or 20 meters a second. Once you've done that, just go straight down with RCS on and SAS off, flipping your craft around so you can retrograde burn right before you hit it. And stop. And now we're just going to wait, turn on SAS, and wait until we get within 100 or so meters of the core module, and then you're going to get it back down to about 0.2 or less. Go ahead and start the thrust. Turn on your RCS and continue to thrust. Following the retrograde. Perfect. And quick save again. And now we're going to ditch this back end. So just press space and you'll shoot it off. Be safe direction. It's going to throw you a little bit out of whack. So what you're going to do is once again go and thrust into the retrograde with your RCS this time since we don't have an engine anymore. And remember to use the warp trick to stop yourself. It's a lot easier than trying to slow down just manually. And then you switch to the docking mode and then press W in order to go in a certain direction with RCS. Then switch back to staging, turn RCS off and point yourself back towards the core module.
Once you're pointed towards the core module, go ahead, go back to docking mode, RCS and SAS on, and then press W again until you're about one meter a second. And you can just leave yourself with SAS on face, facing this direction because as soon as you get close enough, you just press S to reverse thrust and pull yourself back to slow yourself down. All right, we're close enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and reverse thrust. Set your target for the docking port. Go ahead and face towards it and accelerate again. And this is why this is so tedious. You have to just constantly just keep messing with this until you get just the right spot. And then once you get close enough like this, and you'll see the docking ports at a weird angle for me to go to. So you're going to press on the brackets keys, which is above enter, which will switch to the other craft. And then you're going to go back to staging and use the tilt and roll keys, E and Q, to roll it into the right angle for you to dock. Then switch back with brackets, set your target again, now be sure to quick save before this part because this is where you usually mess up. Back to docking, go ahead and accelerate towards the docking port. Not too quickly though, keep it around 5. 0.5. Switch back to staging as you get close and keep the nose pointed towards the target. As you can see it coming just a little bit too fast and that's perfectly fine, just hit the warp to keep everyone from spinning out of control and then reorient yourself and just go right back in again. Make sure once it starts to connect that your SAS is off. And there you have it. Connected with the fuel port. Alright guys, there you have it. Let me know what you think. Um, comment if you have any problems. And stay tuned for more KSP.